As a neuroethologist, I've studied the brains and behaviors of all sorts of organisms. And now I study mosquitoes, everyone's favorite insect. Female mosquitoes, they drink your blood to help develop their eggs. And then they go lay their eggs in standing water. I wanna know what is it that draws them into certain places to lay their eggs. And the hope is that by understanding that, we can then lure mosquitoes in and trap them. If you can trap them, you might be able to make a dent on their population and thus make a dent in the diseases that they cause. Each one of these is its own little bacterial colony. In science, we're always building upon old knowledge, so you never know kind of where the knowledge that you uncover will lead to next. I've learned that it's really fun to do lots of different things, even if you're not good at them. Cue the montage. I was a child actress. I like playing tennis poorly. I like to make different kinds of art. I made the podcast Rad Scientist. This is Rad Scientist. And I like to dance everywhere. You can hop the floor. This is what I call the oscillator. I think trying anything that sparks your interest, even if you aren't particularly good at it, is just a really good way to discover yourself. And I mean, who knows, you might find something that you're actually good at, but the process of trying something new is really important. And you don't have to get rid of your interests when you become a scientist. I think that is a stereotype. It's really important to have other hobbies when you are a scientist. It keeps you on your toes, keeps you creative, and also keeps you sane <laughs> when doing science. <laughs>